It's the algorithm that keeps on giving. Time, peace, gentlemen. Well, I, I was gonna stop doing them videos because I didn't want my, pretty much my channel was based around time, peace, gentlemen, and the ancillary videos that are made about time, peace, gentlemen. But I, so, I guess Paul, no, I don't, Paul Thorpe is doing an interview with Time Peace Gentleman on Saturday. And everybody's worried about if he's going to ask the hard questions and all that. And difference doesn't make. I mean, honestly. So, uh, my thing here is, too, that do these guys even know how to interview somebody? Like, <laughs> Did he go down to the local community college and take a class at least? <laughs> you know, do you know like how to? I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure there has to be some sort of way, like in a professional or semi-professional level, that journalistic type of interviews are conducted. I don't know. I don't know, but but it'd be interesting to see. I'm walking. I had to drop my car off and get some new tires. Tires cost a viking fortune jesus christ so that ought to be interesting so I'm, I'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for time peace gentlemen i think and i've said this before on you know other videos in the comments section and i've said it on live streams uh in the chat part is that i wholeheartedly believe that time peace gentlemen something happened something something happened maybe he lost some money somewhere or lost some investor. But I think something happened. And I, if I'm not mistaken, all this went down after he went to that Bitcoin conference. So maybe something he got involved in there or took some bad piece of advice from some uh, greasy Bitcoin guy. I don't know. But I think something happened. I, I think the whole going dark thing was a cover-up because his... Um, ego well it might have been a combination of both you know a combination of a few things you know nothing in life is how you think they say life is stranger than fiction which is definitely true so it could have been a combination of you know some money loss rebranding um some inner dissension with the with the team you know so it's probably a combination of, of all three then that was the idea he came up with and it kind of it kind of went wonky because if anybody um didn't get their consignment or he didn't he didn't um you know contact you about the consignment i don't think it was done on purpose i think it was more or less done because of his uh his inventory um methods which are which was uh less than stellar I don't think it was done on purpose. I've heard some murmurings. And the charity thing, yeah, that was kind of funky. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's something you're going to have to ask about, Paul. Ask about that charity. That was kind of funky. I've said that before. And also, there's been some murmurings about some shady business deals with some watches sold that were polished, maybe that were um, identified as uh, not, not ever worn or almost new. I'm not sure of the exact designation, but... That's something, but you know what? I kind of think that great dealers, I and mean, I'm not putting all great dealers under one umbrella, but I kind of think that that's part of the um, the the thing when you buy from a great dealer. There might be some sort of discrepancies of what you think you're gonna get as opposed to what you get. And I don't know if this is even true or not, because this is third-party information that I heard on YouTube. So I don't even know. Like I didn't read this on Reddit or anything like that, you know. But I did read somewhere. That one fella is still waiting for his um, his money back for the uh, investment. Yeah, that was weird too. That whole investment thing, the two thousand dollars, that was kind of funky too. Uh, that was borderline probably breaking laws, you know. And he probably just didn't know. I don't know. I why am I defending the guy? I don't know. Maybe he was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know the dude. <laughs> so, I, you know, y'all ever watch a? Uh, y'all ever watch the? Uh, damn, what's the name of that show? Uh, What's happening? Shirley used to always say, better him than me. That was her phrase, better him than me. You know, so, all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, close out. Cause I gotta get to walking. I gotta like 
three more minutes to go. And it's kind of loud out here too. All right, so yeah, um, I'm looking forward. Like I say, I'm gonna probably change up the subject matter of my videos real soon. But I, I gotta keep, I gotta, I gotta stay on this bandwagon to get some, get some hits. But whatever. All right, out.